can use a compressor on the bass drum track um, to try and create a, a more levelled, uniformed volume uh, of the bass drum. Um, because it's being played by a human, um, some of their kicks will be louder than others, and what we want to do as live sound engineers is try and control that level uh, and keep them all approximately the same. Uh, this is done using a compressor, uh, and we've got a basic compressor here with a threshold, a ratio, an attack and a release, and your main output. We must also make sure that we have the in-out button pressed. This essentially works as a bypass. So to get the, the compressor working, we're going to press the in button. We have the threshold currently set to 0 dB, and we have the ratio set to 1 to 1. So at the moment, there is no compression taking place on the bass drum track at all. What I would start with on a compressor in a live sound situation is to choose an approximate ratio that I feel would be suitable for a bass drum. Uh, I would suggest something along the lines of 4 to 1 for this. So I'm going to turn my ratio up to 4 to 1. Still nothing changes um, in terms of the compression because we now need to reduce the threshold. We're going to listen to the bass track, bass drum track, and we're going to turn the threshold down. What we should notice is that our VU meter at the top will indicate whether or not the signal is being compressed. Now I have that turned down to around about minus 30 dB and it started to make the bass drum sound a little bit like a cardboard box. It's taken some of the natural bass drum sound away from it. Um, looking at my VU meter, I have approximately minus 12 dB gain reduction, which is probably a little bit too much for a bass drum. I'm probably looking for something around minus 6. So I need to then increase my threshold back up until I can get the sound I want, as well as monitoring the gain reduction on the meter. As I approached minus 6 dB gain reduction, I started to get the attack back into the bass drum uh, and kept quite a full sound. What we would then do is, is bypass the compressor to here before and after to make sure we've made a difference. If we find through compression that we've uh, dropped the level too much, we can then use the output control just to add that back in. <laughs> 